South African Triple Tiara and the runners dispatched to a very good start. Chances are began well. Igugu got away really well, currently racing in second, and Hollywood Boulevard is up along her inside, racing back in that third spot. In behind that is Stormy Coast, Red Delicious and Lou follow those through. Further back in the field, then comes Las Rumblas and Berry Blaze, the back marker, but only five or six lengths cover this field as Igugu starts to spread her wings past the 1200 metre marker. And it's Igugu that goes clear. Alpesh has gone, four lengths clear. Chances are racing in second. In third on the outside is Louvre, Hollywood Boulevard racing back and forth. Stormy Coast is seven lengths off. The she's clear by five lengths. Racing back in second is Chances are. Louvre is racing in third. Hollywood Boulevard's got seven to make up. One behind that Stormy Coast. Then Red Delicious, Las Rumblas and Berry Blaze. They turn for home in the South African Phillies Classic. Igugu's the leader by four lengths. Hollywood Boulevard emerges as the main danger. In behind that is Louvre. Then comes Stormy Coast. Chances are in behind that. Coming into the home stretch now. They've got about 400 to go. Igugu still four lengths clear. Hollywood Boulevard back in second. Louvre and on the outside. Stormy Coast are back in third. They come down to the last 250. Igugu leads by three to four lengths. She's got the South African Phillies Classic field stone cold. Here is the horse as price this is an uncut diamond. Igugu, she's the queen of the turf. Igugu wins by seven lengths. Igugu, no race, beats Las Ramblas for second. Berry Blaze ran on for third. Fourth Hollywood Boulevard. Stormy Coast chances are class ride by jockey Anthony Delpesh for the Michael de Cox stable. Official winning margin was ten and a quarter lengths. Top class performance here by number one Igugu, the Australian bred, going off as the favourite for the grade one SA Phillies Classic at Turfentine this afternoon and a top class rider by Anthony Dalpesh. You know, if we had any other jockey sitting on that horse and it looped the field, went to the front, would be saying, what is he doing? But you know, we had so much confidence with you on knowing the filly and knowing how she runs that we thought he's done the right thing. Yeah, you know, we jumped and it was obviously we, we all intended to give her a little chance. But you know, I ride the race according to how fast they go and they jumped. We wanted first 200 meters, we were walking. And I said, I don't want to play into the hands of, of Figgy because his filly has got a good turn of foot. And I said, let me go take it up. And she stays all day. She's, she's top class and she, she loafed in front. And uh, what can I say about her? She showed how good she is. Come Champions Day, the third leg of the Triple Crown, the SA Oaks, no doubt. Yeah, no, the distance is not even a doubt. Well, we've just uh, got to talk to the boss and maybe we can get a pacemaker, make it a little bit easier for her, you know. Um, oh, she's, she's very good. I, I can't, the words, no words for her. And uh, thank you very much to John. He's done a fantastic job while the boss is away. And thank you very much to Mike. And I hope he pulls one off tonight. Now, and before you run away, you know, you get on these 2 to 10 favourites and people think, oh, well, the number's in, in the frame already. But they're pressure rides. And I don't think people realise how much pressure goes on a jockey when they, when they get on horses like this yeah it is a lot of pressure you know um, leading up to this week I just wanted everything to go smooth and obviously the race you also want it to go smooth but you also have to use your own discretion you've got the best horse in the race you know what that's why Michael has uh, the best jockeys we leaves it up to us when it comes uh, to when the race is not going when he's giving us a uh, instruction and things don't go right we make our own decision you know and you know it's only a pleasure to sit on these horses they they make me look good Congratulations. Well done. Before you run away, Larry Weinstein, chairman of the Racing Association, is going to give you your prize. I don't know how you're going to get that on the plane tonight, but good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Well done to jockey Anthony Dalpesh. John, a lovely performance. Yeah, and top marks to the team because you really have kept the... the, the the stable going and uh, especially this filly an impressive performance today thank you very much Jules like I said before um, well done to the staff alone without them we wouldn't get you uh, well done to Anthony we were trying to get this filly a chance obviously went very slow he used his head so well done to him uh, well done to Mr McDonald all the best to him ok now Oaks talking about a pacemaker what do you think the boss is going to do I'll choose we'll play it but yeah we've got a month to go you know we'll, we'll see how we go congratulations thank you well done to John Buckley keeping the flag flying for the Michael de Cox stable and uh, of course he walks away with his prize for the SA Phillies Classic now it's always my pleasure to talk to Mr and Mrs McDonald they part owners in Ugugu Mr Mac you've been shouting at the door for a long time now come normally this time of the year you're always in Dubai you've obviously knew something 
running, but you've opted to watch your filly run. But were your hearts in your throat when you went to the front? Oh, absolutely. Jeez. I was dying 20 times. <laughs> and when she won by 10 lengths, how did that feel? Oh, how much? <laughs> by 10 lengths. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Uh, what a nice horse. All I can say for the uh, my uh, Mark II, we are linking together and we're winning. Thank you. What a partnership. Now tell me, what are the plans for this filly? Because obviously with being in Michael the Cox stable, there are bigger things for her. Uh, we only go for, for the next uh, 30th of April and then two races in Durban. You can guess which two races. <laughs> I can't tell you, but there's only two. And then she's on the way to Dubai. Well, we'll be holding thumbs. We'll be watching her performances. And come the 30th of April, I'm sure you'll be standing here talking to me again. And next year... I can assure you we go to Dubai to watch a big race. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Mack, always a pleasure having you in the winner's enclosure. Lovely supporters of the game and uh, congratulations to both of you. Thank you, Julie. Thank you. Congratulations. Well done. Thanks to Larry Weinstein. Of course, beautiful mementos over there for the SA Phillies Classic. That will make a beautiful fruit bowl. Thank okay, you very much. <laughs> and then, of course, your Jenna Clifford RA gift. There we go. So, you very spoils all round. Thanks to Larry Weinstein. We've also got our groom coming forward. We'll just, it is quite tight in here, so we'll just wait for everybody to move out so we can bring in our groom. And, of course, this is a Gugu's groom who's turned out the daughter of Galileo in excellent style. Larry, thank you very much. Congratulations. That is very well. Congratulations. Thank you. There we go. Thank you very much. There we go. Well, that rounds off the presentation for the SA Phillies Classic. Before we turn off, just want to call on Gideon Sam from Sascock to come and say a few words quickly. Gideon, lovely to have you back on Turfentine soil. And uh, I remember you from last year. And of course, I think this race is building and it's growing momentum and uh, certainly looking good. It's looking very good. It's looking very good. And I think uh, the first thing that we need to say is to thank all the people who come to the races now and uh, support us because this is part of our mission to ensure that, you know, we expose our sport and our federation and our confederation to the people of South Africa. By being part of, uh, of, of, of these races here, the Triple Crown, we, 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 we are jealously looking at how we can assist our uh, athletes and uh, the proceeds that we get from this, these kind of races go to our athletes and that's why you know we always want to appeal to all South Africans to come to the races especially when it's a triple crown to come and support us because this is this is the only way where sponsorship is poor uh, that we can support our athletes our athletes are on the circuit and our athletes are, are participating in many competitions and we need to make sure that we assist them in, in getting there so yes it's for us it's great and you can see that from last year to this year it's growing and in a couple of years time it will be one of the biggest events in the South African sporting well, calendar. We certainly look forward to that. Gideon thank Sam thank you very much for My being pleasure. here. pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. Congratulations. Well that rounds off the SA Classic our big one the two million rand SA Classic for the boys up next. <laughs>